Hey, hi, Elkana here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be making a demo of a little girl with hair twist. In my previous three videos, you'll find that it's just the video rolling with no voice to it, just like uh, music in the background. The other day, I, I did an IG live and uh, somebody mentioned that it would be really helpful if I could have my voice explaining what exactly that I'm doing at the time so that it can follow up. Well, here's the thing. I'm very much aware that I have a really horrible croaky voice. So for the longest time, I've been avoiding doing that. But I guess uh, I'm going to give it a shot with this video. When I'm sketching kids, one of the things that I pay attention to, especially with the face, is to make sure that the forehead takes a huge chunk of the face area. That immediately helps you capture the, the kitty, you know, look that we are looking for. So you can tell that from this drawing, it's like almost halfway of the face belongs to the forehead and then you plot the eyes from there and then you can add the other features like the nose and chin. I lay out the colors real quick and then we can start uh, detailing you know once all the areas for color has been established. So now that we have a brown maybe we could go ahead and uh, separate the skin from the hair. I'm gonna pick up a, a darker tone for, for the hair and then we can proceed from there. Also, you have to understand this, that the sketch isn't always the, the end or be all. How do you say it? Be all, end or end or be all? Yeah, end or be all. But you get what I mean. The sketch is actually supposed to be like a guide to what you're doing. So, after you've done your sketch, you don't really have to hold on tight to your sketch. That would be a mistake because as you apply your colors, your mind begins to develop other features that you didn't see when you were building your sketch. So it's very important that you allow yourself to have that to have that flexibility to work around you know as you apply your color in there i'm separating at this point i'm separating the the hairlines you know so that all the sketches don't disappear and then from there we can we can proceed with more details yeah Good. So we have the hair sorted and I'm going to proceed to finding details for the face. Blocking out the ears, the eyes, eyebrows, her nose, and her lips. We have the features looking clearer now, right? A little bit of detailing for her eyes, darker tones for her. And we can add more flesh to the cheek. I like it when, they, when the kids' cheeks are, you know, rounder, it makes them like more bubbly. She looks tan. Kind of look like she looks tan. Oh, how do you guys think?
I was figuring out whether to make the eyes brown or green. Definitely not red though. Let's add a little pinkiness to her lips. So it's like fresh, you know. You know that fresh, right? And then put some nostrils in there. It's very, very easy to feel plateaued when you get to this stage of the artwork because like you're stuck right in the middle where you've made good progress but at the same time you, you kind of feel like what's next to do, what's next to do. I'll tell you what, whenever you catch yourself asking what's next to do, that's a sign that you need to take a break. You see, what taking a break does is that it refreshes you and when you return to the work, you actually get new ideas that you probably wouldn't have seen if you had forced yourself to continue, you know? Okay, so I'm going to be putting in the details in the hair now, make the twist look nice and clean. I don't know, probably if I had to choose another art form, I probably would be like a hair breeder or something. It's like one of the things that really fascinate me. How they're gonna, how, how these hair breeders are able to put, you know, lines together in, in geometry and all the different styles and it's just so beautiful to look at. Let's have some baby hairs in there. And throwing in some more shades on the skin. We're gonna have the lights in there and she's gonna look radiant and beautiful. looks nice the skin is done the hair is done the brows look nice the lips look fresh I'm gonna add a few more detail into the eye some eyelashes nice good dark on nostrils a bit more detail to the eyebrows there's gonna be an earring so 
Let me mark that place with the darker brown before I put in the earring itself. And add some shades to her neck area. Part of her face receiving the lights to feel warmer. So here's a selection, and after selecting the areas, I am going to soften it. And then adjust the warmth of the color. So apply some yellow in there. Some magenta. Looks good. Here's some lights to brighten it up. That part of her nose looked kind of empty and I want to press in so let me add a bit of shade to it so that it looks rounded and better pressed in. A bit of lighting to detail the eyes. Better define the slopes of her face. When it comes to lighting up faces, the most important thing to remember is that areas that protrude receive more light, the areas that sink in receive less light generally so without you able to place easily where the lights are also if you want your lighting to be really good the most important thing that you would do is to what I call updating your image library your mental image library and this is where you pretty much throughout your day just look at people's faces of course not in a weird way but you want to study how light bounces on people and which parts receive light and why they receive the light and which parts receive the shades it helps you to immediately reference that when you're coloring without you know having to look on an image okay so we're gonna put in more light on the hair now. The twists are looking really good at this point. A bit more detail for the eyelashes. More light for the eyes. looks clean enough a bit more pinkiness to her lips so it's even fresher more light I'm 
good. So now her lips look like uh, it has more volume now and it's fresher. Yeah, here's an earring. A darker yellow ochre, whichever way you want to see it. And then uh, I'm going to put in some lights on at the top and a bit at the bottom so that it gives it a sense of roundness. Let me clean up the eyes a bit more. Put some highlights at the top of her lips. I think we are almost there. More cuts for the hair. And uh, here's some highlights for her dress. So I'm gonna splash a bit of color for the background, something really simple to make it pop. Oh, um, something seems missing for the eye. Uh, yes, okay. I'm going to put in some highlights in there. Let me clean up the background really nice. And then put some highlights in there. Maybe they should come in in a bit. And another one on the left. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. More detail for the top leg. a bit more down there. Finalizing the hair with a bit of straight hairs so that it gives them more like natural feel. guys so here we have it a quick demo of how I go about sketching in color that'll be all subscribe and see you later bye